This video, I'm going to be showing you the best offense in college football 25. It comes to us out of the gun bunch halfback strong. This formation is really, really good. There's a lot of things that you can do with this formation to be able to beat both man coverage, zone coverage. You can even beat match coverage out of this really, really easily. One of the cool things uh, about this year's game just in general is they added a couple new plays to this formation. Now, if you're wondering what playbook has uh, what, what playbook has this little formation here, we're going to be using Oklahoma State. There are some other playbooks. The cool part about Oklahoma Oklahoma State is we already dropped a trips tied in ebook on our school.com site uh, for, for uh, and, and it's just, it has trips tied in, in in here as well so you can use trips some of the concepts from there so I'm gonna be showing you uh, kind of a couple of plays really my favorite play here is Seattle I think Seattle is really 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 good it's able to beat man it's able to beat zone it's able to space the field very very well so what we're gonna do to set this up is we're just gonna drag the tight end and we're gonna put the running back on a streak now our first read we're always gonna be looking at this fade on the left okay I really really like you need to be throwing that route against press zones press zones this year they don't really like they're just not very good right so the main that ironically but the interesting thing is so the main way that they can kind of guard that route on the left side is by getting a reroute jam out of a cover two match type of deal as you see that played pretty good um they can guard that route with that with that reroute that with that with that reroute out of man so cover two, actually, interestingly enough, is going to stop that route on the left side. But one of the things that cover two does this year that's a little different than cover two did in the past is the deep paths are going to play a little bit more inside. And so this wheel route is going to absolutely destroy cover two to that outside. So you see there we're able to manipulate cover two. That way we're able to manipulate cover three, cover four the other way. Now, if you want to see the cover four coverage, we'll just show that to you here. Again, we're just going to shade underneath. The reason you shade underneath is because shading underneath is going to help prevent uh, kind of the glitchiness of zones and help prevent some of the, the weird matching that they put into this game. Uh, the reason you don't want the matching is because it doesn't work, okay? I would love to be able to run it in real life. It does not work in this game for what we're doing, okay? So if you do, if you don't want, if you, if you want to leave the matching, you know what? Go for it. If you want to leave the matching, we will throw touchdowns on you all day because a literal streak will just absolutely glitch this. You'll see that buzz when we shaded down, he was a lot closer to him than when we just played it standard okay the reason why is because of the match concept the match coverages this year they just get outran out outflanked not very good at least right now okay so that is really kind of the main setup here and what a lot of people are going to do is they're just going to kind of come out play base cover three cover four that's where we're going to really attack them with this tight end route this tight end drag is super good i really want you just to be very simple in your offense here and if they give you this i would really throw it the yellow zones back up a lot this year so this tight end drag, you want to wear this out over the middle. So what this is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to have to shade their coverage underneath. And that's where we're going to basically be able to step up in the pocket. And we're going to want to hit this crosser, which is better than the Durham crosser. It gets a little bit more underneath and it gets underneath a lot of those deep zone drops. So now we have the ability to hit that. And so what they're going to do whenever we we start hitting that crossing route is they are going to basically try to use or they use or defend that. And that's where this running back streak is super good. It just gets into such a soft spot of the zone and it's able to really play, play really well for you. So, and then if you want to, like, let's say they're backed off like this, feel free to kind of peek out here. You can quick throw this wheel. If they're not playing hard flats, uh, you can hundred percent quick throw that wheel. What a lot of people are doing is they're playing just like kind of bend, but don't break a lot of cloud flat coverage right now. So if they see that, if they're not playing hard flats, just quick throw that. That's going to be an easy access throw for you and is going to be able to win. Now, the other thing I did want to just quickly say is cover two on that left side does a pretty good job of defending some things. However, what I want to show you real quick here is if they're not having a match principle over there, take a look at this. You'll see you get see how he rides him for super far and then you have that tight end drag underneath of it. So if they do cloud over there, that's probably the best thing that they can do is to put a cloud flat on that left side, but they're going to have to also simultaneously put a hard flat over there, which is dedicating quite a bit of resources. And then the other thing that you have, as we showed earlier, is if we wait on this, this wheel is going to win, right? And we're just going to be able to throw that over the top of the cover two coverage for a pretty nice little play. Now, another play. So this play is going to kind of get them into calling that cover two. And now we're going to show you how to take the top off of the cover two. The play P A. The play is P A bunch shot out of this um, out of this playbook. 
And what you're going to see from this play is this is primarily designed to be a cover two beater. All you're going to do is you're going to take your tight end, put him on a tight end apprentice corner, and you're going to stem that down one, st one tick. And then you're just going to snap the ball. Right? You can just quick snap this. And basically what you're going to see is this post route is an absolute nuke, and it is going to destroy any kind of cover two coverage. If they play cover two coverage on your field, this is going to kill it. Uh, and again, we all have hot round masters, so everyone is being fed here, and you can do this with any quarterback in the game, right? Now, if they run cover four or cover three, this work your high low between that crosser, that, that really kind of unique crosser on the play, and um, work, just basically work your high low is what I'm trying to say, okay? The, the cover four coverage this year and the cover three coverage, they require kind of specific things to bomb, and you can try to hit this, but you see how that inside quarter uh, is just kind of—he's just going to take that away. So I would honestly just check down to your high-low between your crosser. So if you see that they have a, you know, they're in, in more of like a cover four base or something, then what I want you to do, say okay, we're going to just really look to hit that crosser right there. Super, super simple. Now another thing I wanted to address is, and we have it in our audibles here, mesh fat mesh flat spot if they're playing a lot of tampa two on you what i like to do here is we're going to streak the slot receiver we're going to stem this corner route down a tick or two and then we're going to really do whatever you want with the rest of the players um, you can run a, a basic uh, you know a basic in route one of my favorite things to do uh, as i accidentally change plays because the audible system in practice mode is not the best uh, one of my favorite things that i like to do here is we're actually going to take that tight end and put him on a uh, post or a crossing route because that's going to beat man coverage really well and then we're going to kind of have that backside drag so you see how we're kind of using this play and then really the main read here is this corner route it's going to beat pretty much everything it's going to really beat uh, that cover to coverage so now we're kind of really manipulating man we're really manipulating zone one of the things we didn't show you i forgot to show you here uh, is if you call that play seattle against man coverage you obviously have that fade against cover one robber that you can kind of peek but the main reads here and the main route is really going to be this r1 crosser this r1 crosser is one of the most consistent man beating plays in the game this formation literally has everything you can attack the entirety of the field from one formation and, and it's the best bunch strong in the game if you want to get access to my full i'll Oklahoma State Offensive eBook. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. For just $10, you can access all of our Madden 25 and College Football 25 offensive and defensive eBooks. We already have over four offensive or uh, four defensive eBooks, which is super important. First week of the game, we also have uh, we also have two offenses, and we're adding a third one today over there. So literally, the game has been out for almost just over 24 hours, and we already have seven different eBooks that you can basically choose from by the end of the day. So if you want to check all of that content out, that's available by becoming a school.com member, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is going to be down in the description below.